In this video, we are gonna work on resetting and changing passwords. And lucky for me, lucky for you, Django makes this very, very simple. It has basically a built-in system so that all we need to do is provide it some basic information like what is the password reset page gonna look like? What does the email look like that you're sending to users when they wanna reset their password? Um, yeah, basically just like little things like that. And we set up the URLs and it makes it really easy for people to both change and reset their password. Oh, actually one thing before we get started here is I wanna just make sure I make it really clear that when you reset a password in development in your development environment and when you reset a password in production like when it's your website is hosted up somewhere it's going to be a little bit different so what i'm going to be showing you in this video is how to reset a password in development and then later when we go to launch this course to production i'll make all the necessary changes and show you how to actually send like a real password reset email from like an email address that you set up and it's going to send from your server all right, now let's uh, let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the source code. Go down to the description of this video. If you're watching it on YouTube, you're gonna need to go to my website and watch it on my website. Don't worry, it's free, just go watch it there. And you'll see all the necessary links to the code that you need to use to uh, take advantage of the stuff that I'm gonna show you here. So we're gonna do a bunch of copy pasting because most of this stuff is just a bunch of HTML that we need to, we gotta basically just create a bunch of files, paste in a bunch of HTML and the password reset stuff will just kind of magically work. Django is a beautiful thing. So the first, the first, uh, the first file that we need to create is passwordchange.html, and you can see the pathway up here. We go into templates, the root level templates, uh, create a directory named password reset, and we want to call it passwordchange.html. So let's go to Sublime Text and go into templates, go into uh, create a new directory inside of here, so new folder, and we're going to call this password. Uh, I think it was password reset was the directory that I, name that I gave it. Now inside of password reset, we'll create the first file. So pressing control S, pasting that name in, password change.html, pressing save, and now going back to the code, and I'm just going to copy all of this. So copying that and pasting it in. So this is, uh, it's pretty basic. I got some basic kind of CSS styling here that I'm not gonna go through. You can take a look at that if you want. And then the HTML is basically just a form. The thing that you need to know about this form is that the name field, so the names on all the inputs, so like old password, new password one, new password two, these are very important. You have to have the exact same name as I have in here in order for Django to know how to use this. I believe also the IDs. So like this ID is old password, this is ID new password one, ID new password two. So make sure you have the name field and the ID field exactly the same. Just like literally copy this to make sure you don't make any mistakes. And then of course you have the form errors down here. The next file, let's go back to the source code, is going to be uh, password change done.html. So this is what they'll see after they have uh, reset their password basically. So you can see the little HTML down here, it just says your password has been updated. So let's go and create that file. So going into the password reset folder, new file, control S to save it, password change done.html. Now let's go and copy that HTML going back to our file, and then press Control S on that to save it. And I forgot to press Control S on this one to save that too, so make sure you save that. Next, to the source code, the next file is password reset, password reset complete. So actually, the, the last one was when your password is updated. So this would be a password change. This is gonna be what they see when they reset their password. So they forgot their password, now they're trying to reset it. So password reset complete.html, right click on the password reset, new file, Control S to save it, add in the file name there, pressing save. Now going back to the source code, grabbing this HTML, going back to our project, pasting it in and pressing control S. On to the next one. Next one is gonna be password reset done. So pressing control C on that, going to our password reset directory, new file, control S. We're getting really good at this now. We're gonna paste the name in, save it. I'm gonna start moving a little faster now. Copy the HTML, paste it in here. This one is, we've emailed you instructions for setting, resetting your password or for setting your password if account exists, blah, 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 blah. So this is what they'll see after they click like the send uh, reset email thing. This is the view that they'll see. Pressing control S on that. Now let's go to the next one. Password reset email.html. This is actually the, the email that they're gonna see. So pasting the name in there, uh, pressing control S to save that. Now getting this, notice this is not HTML. This is actually what the content of the email is gonna say. So it's gonna to say to initiate the password reset process for your account, and then it's gonna print out their email, click the link below and it will click and it will uh, build this link for them with a unique token that they get for resetting their password. They're gonna click that 
and uh, they will get that reset email. So pressing control S on that, going to the next one, we have password reset form. So this is actually the form that they'll need to use to reset their password. So control S on that. Now copying all of this content, going back to the project, pasting that in and pressing control S. So again, the field names in here, the input field names are really important. So notice it has name of email and the ID is email. So basically it's just a form that has one input field for their email address. And then when they click it, it will send them an email. And that, that form says, you know, reset password. Now we're going to the last one. This is going to be password reset subject. This is the subject of the email. So open chat password reset. So let's go create that last file, new file, give it a name, save it, go back, copy, open chat, password, reset, and paste it in. So those are the files, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven files in order to set up password reset and password change on your project. Now, of course, we are not done, but I am gonna close all this source code. And just to, just to remind you, just to reiterate that all of the links for this, if you're watching this on my uh, course on my website, they're all down below in the description. All you gotta do is click the links, open it, copy paste this stuff in. It's really, really simple. If you're watching on YouTube, what are you doing? Go to my go to my website just register it's free watch the course you'll benefit tracks your progress all the links to the code makes it way easier okay so we are nearly done we've got all of our necessary html files and the email file and all that kind of stuff now we want to set up the urls so let's go into the root project directory go into urls.py and we need to get an import so i want to do from uh, django.contrib dot auth import views as auth views. Uh, you could just import, uh, oh no, I guess you better give it a name that does make sense. So from the auth, contrib auth, get auth views. Now these auth views come prepackaged with all the password reset stuff. So now we just need to add those URLs. And actually in case you were wondering, let me bring up the Django source code. Let me bring open the Django source code. So the link to this will also be down in the description of the video. So I went to the master branch Django contrib auth. So that's the import that we just did for inside of urls.py importing views. So basically I imported this whole file inside of here is where we have all of the, those views for resetting the password. And we have some other ones like logging in and logging out. But if you're curious, you can, you can take a look at here. We have like the password reset view here, password reset done view, password reset confirm view, all of the views that, uh, that we, that we've just built the HTML for. Now we're just going to set up, set up the URLs inside of here. So you know what? I don't want to write this out because it's kind of long. So I'm just going to copy paste. So this is the source code for the project. These are the URLs that I want right here. I'm just going to copy them. Also notice there's that link to the, the views.py file that I just showed you in the Django source code. So you can copy that. Again, links are down in the description of this video if you're watching on my website, that is. So I'm gonna paste these in and just kind of go through these. So we have password change done. So that's like when you successfully uh, change your password. Notice we're referencing that auth views import that we got up here. And we're using the password uh, change done view and getting, getting the view. And if I go over to the right, notice the template that it references. That's the one of the templates that we just built. So it's looking in the password reset directory and the HTML file is password change done. You know what I could do instead of having to scroll over, I could turn uh, word wrapping on. So let's go over here, go to word wrap. And there we go. Now I won't have to kind of scroll the view over. So here's all of our URLs, you know, we password change references, the password change view references the one of the HTML files that we created. We have password reset complete. Another one of the HTML files, password reset confirm and so on and so on. I'm sure you get the idea here. Basically all you need to know is this is all you need now to be able to both uh, change your password or reset your password if you forget, send the email and uh, change your password also. There's still a little bit more we need to do, but those are all of the URLs. So pressing control S on that. Now I need to do two more things. The first one is gonna be going into uh, going into settings.py and we need to set up kind of uh, the mailing system. So because we're, we're, we're not in a production environment, we can't actually send like a real email from an email. So what we do is we set up, we set this up in development. And again, 
I just want to reiterate that this changes when you're in production. You're going to actually send an email to the user. But when we're in development, we just send kind of like a fake email to the console so that we can test and make sure that everything else is working. So to get this working in development, we just have to set a single kind of uh, a setting here. So first I want to say if debug is true. So that basically means if we are in development, then I want to set the email backend parameter to Django core mail dot backends dot console dot email back end and that's for, again that's for that's for development only so when we actually do to do this or uh, push this to production there's going to be a bunch more settings we need because we're going to need to like uh, have the authentication parameters for that email that sends that reset link but for now again this is just development so we're using this pre-built nice little email backend that comes with django now the last step is going into headers or header.html or actually sorry not header.html we want to go into uh, login.html so go into account go into login.html and search for reset password because here there's currently no link so we want to set set a URL here, URL and reference one of those URLs that we just added. We want to add password reset and just double checking to see if there's another reset link. Nope, that is the only one. So URL password reset. So pressing control S on that. And now let's go into our development server and see what this looks like. So here I am in the development environment and notice that I'm not logged in. So I'm gonna go to the login screen down at the bottom. Here's our password reset link. So I'm going to click on that and see, notice now it takes us to this kind of pre-built Django uh, Django view. So this is where I would enter my email. So say I forgot my password uh, or my password for Mitch at Tabney.ca. I would click forgot my password. It then gives us that view that says we've emailed you instructions. So now let's look at the console and see what it says here. So the console says this is this is the email that they would they would get. So of course this is like simulated because it's just a development environment. But this is what they would see if we set this up in production with an actual email. Your username, if you've forgotten, blah, 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 blah. And then here is the reset link. So if I copied that, pressing control C on that, and I go back to our web browser and I paste that in, let's see what happens. So now I can actually change my password. So if I go here and I just set, I don't know, I'll just set a, set a new password. So there's my new password, I set it. Okay, great, now I'm gonna try and log in with that new password. Also notice here's a different view. This is for when your password is successfully reset. Let me click sign in and I'll try and sign in with my new password. So there's that new password and boom, there we go, it works. So everything is working as expected. Now the, the other URL that we set up was for, for changing your password. So if we go to urls.py, we have, these are all password reset, password reset. So this one's password change. So we wanna go to the root URL and go to password change. So let's go try that. Let's go here. Of course, we don't have like, since we don't have like an account set up or anything like that, we don't have anywhere currently where the user could change their password, but later we will be adding this to the account screen. As an example, you go to openchat.xyz and notice uh, down here, there is change password. So that is where the URL is going to be later when we build this account screen. But for now, so we will just test this in development. So if I go to password change, so now I'm gonna change it back to what it was. So I'm gonna type in that password that I just reset it to. And now I'm going to set it to what my password used to be. So let's click update. It says your password has been updated. Sure, let's make sure that it actually has been updated. So if I go to login and I type my original password, Yes, it works. So everything is working correctly. So that's that's pretty excellent. It's pretty easy. You know, I don't know how long this minute is. Looks like it's going to be about uh, between 10 and 15 minutes long. And within that time, we set up the ability to reset password, send a reset email, change your password. And we built you know, like, you know, a bunch of different views, four or five different views for all of the different stages in that reset process. Pretty amazing stuff that Django has pre-built for us to use. Now, again, of course, keep in mind, this will change in production. You have to actually like make an email. So like I would go and make a Gmail account specifically for sending reset emails. I'd, I'd, I'd have that set up on my server so that it knew how to log in. Like I knew the email's password and then it would send the reset link from that email. But again, all that stuff is gonna be covered later when we actually launch this website to production. Next, we're gonna work on building the account screen. So just a few minutes ago, I kind of looked at openchat.xyz and we're gonna build this account screen minus this little scribble that I have down here, but we're gonna start building the account screen. And this is gonna be trickier than you think because it will have different states depending on like if you're the authenticated user looking at this or if you're looking at somebody else's account. 
So we'll start taking a look at that in the next video.